Hello everybody, it's Alex with the Trombone Shop here. Today I'm going to be talking about articulation and single tonguing. Now, um, these two don't always, there's a lot of ways to single tongue. I'm mostly going to be talking about attacks today um, with regards to tonguing. So there's a lot of things people think about when they're doing attacks. There's um, breath attacks, which we're not going to be doing today. We might do those in a future video. Um, and then there's also your actual, um, you, you just being sure that every time you play your first note, that's working. We're going to be talking more about how to keep your tongue active. Um, when you're considering articulation, there's three parts of a note. There's the first part of a note, there's the middle of a note, and there's the end of a note. Articulation mostly deals with the front of the note but all of these things work together. So we're gonna be talking about all of them together. Now, um, with articulation, what we wanna consider is that um, when we're getting our tongue active, what we wanna be focusing on is how consistent is our tongue. Are we tonguing the same way every time? Are we tonguing differently every time? Those types of things. Um, and the best way to get our articulation to be active like that is just to um, think about where our tongue is actually hitting on the front of our, our mouths. So if this is our teeth right here on the bottom, and this is kind of where our gums are, is up at the top corner, um, da tonguing, when you say da, if you say it right now, when you say that, it, it hits the, the corners and it's a little bit softer. When you say ta, your tongue actually hits your teeth. Um, and that's where you want your tongue to be hitting when you want a firm, clear articulation. Um, when you say da, you want a different type of articulation. So when you say ta, though, it's, it's going to come back, your, your tongue, and, and you want your tongue to come back, but you want the air to go past it, or else your tongue hitting your teeth doesn't really mean anything. Um, and your air going past it is also going to help support the middle of the and the end of the sound as well as the front. So, um, so what that should be doing, um, I usually work on this with um, the Arbens, the studies in dotted eighth and sixteenth notes. I think that's a great place to do it because you also have to work on that precise rhythm where it's dum da dum da dum, where it's right together. So, you get the idea. Um, you want to be really focusing on, on the fronts. What you may find with this much, um, with this much tongue going on, you may need to work on how consistently you, or how, how strongly you attack with your tongue. Um, and the, remember the goal here is consistency because we can, we can use more tongue or less tongue later. The goal right now is just to be consistent so that we can approach it with, um, different dynamics and different things like that later. So, um, the other thing to consider is, um, how our air is getting behind it. So if I'm just using a lot of tongue, it's gonna come up. And that's a good way to work on your tonguing. If you are struggling with this and, and you can't get the front of your notes to articulate well, try just taking just to get really, really focused. Um, the and, and to let your air still work on continuing past it, it's also okay to play these same exercises as um, 
so that you're really feeling things out. You can buzz it on the mouthpiece. You can do whatever you need to do. The, the main goal of this is to work on your tonguing and, and to have it be as consistent as possible. Then when your air gets past it and you start to pick up the pace a little bit, yeah pretty pretty basic um i i also think just it's very important to keep that air going um the articulation and the tonguing won't matter if you don't have a good sound. It, it's just gonna it's just gonna sound tight and clenched, and you you need your air to be in support of it, even if you play quieter like I did in some spots. You still need air to be consistently behind it. Your tongue is gonna do a lot of work. But the work isn't going to mean anything if you, your air is not blowing past your tongue out of your mouth into the, the instrument. Um, if you have any questions about this, I hope you found this helpful. Um, please reach out to me. Um, I just wanted to real quickly address some just basic articulation and, and see if this helps you in your own playing. Um, and if you have any questions, reach out to me or Keith at the shop. Thanks.